Hey guys, this is Abdul Malik. <coughs> so today I'm going to show you how to make a Safari browser in Xcode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me show you how the app is going to look like. So let's go ahead and so let's open up Xcode and create a new project. Select single view application next project name Safari next. Create Alright, so first step we have to take is um, we need to go and create our user interface first. So head over to Mendo Storyboard. Then label search for navigation bar. Then search for the search bar and put it inside navigation bar. Go back again. Search for progress view and zoom in a little bit so that we can aligned in progress view all the way yeah. then make sure you select uh, make sure search is selected then go over to attribute search style then choose minimal and then search bar again please hold uh, you can write whatever you want to but I'm going with search or enter website I think this will do So what else again? Okay, so let's go ahead and create toolbar also. Library search for toolbar click and drop. So uh, library also then search for bar. Button. Click and drop. 
we're going to make three copies of this Back again, um, select flexible space, uh, flexible space bar button item. Put it around here. Choose another one also. Select, select this button here, middle button, and make sure I troop. Make sure attribute inspector is selected. You are on attribute selected in system item. Choose change it to action. This button also let's make it so what I'm going to do I'm going to provide the so I'm going to provide this pictures in the description down below asset click and drag just change we just rename the icon to bug forward and then And just tell you what else I have to go back there. Click on this button here. Make sure you delete the title and image to back. Also, forward, delete the title. Tap. Okay. So let's go ahead and run our application and see So what do we need to do next is I think what do we need to do next is we need to hide this progress viewer when when the application loads and also we need to disable this back and front button and also with the action button also. So let's go ahead and do that. View controller to browser. And let's create an outlet for for progress view, back button, and front button also. Okay. 
ich finde. Augen. So let's go ahead and connect this LV outlet to click from here, click while holding control and drag it all the way to progress view and then select progress view Click while holding control all the way to back button. Select choose it select go back. Also do that again to the forward button also and move forward. Save your application then go back to browser. Progress. Just your name is sorry. Progress. It's hidden close to two. And let's run up the entrance. Run the application. Is it? That disappears. So. And this will this back and forward button also back that is hidden. Enable the first force or forward. It's enable. Run your application and see. Nice. And also, let's try it with the action button also. Let's create an outlet reference for it also. I B out outlet. Share. Do I bar button item? About to mend the story, but connect it.
so I think this video is too long already so I'm going to split this video into two parts um, this part uh, we will just create the user interface and in the second part we are going to start writing the code so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you really so guys if you really enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe like and leave a comment and see you in the next video